the Layers tab on the top menu bar, you will find all of the data layers found in the PAMO application. As you can see, a number of layers are already turned on by default. Any layers that are on and visible in the map window will be displayed, along with their symbology in the legend in the upper right-hand corner of the map window. There are also a number of layers, both on and off by default, that are grayed out. These layers are not active or visible until you have zoomed in to a smaller extent, otherwise the map would be very cluttered. Watch the inactive and invisible layers start to become active and visible as soon as we zoom into smaller and smaller extents, closer to ground level. We have now reached an extent small enough to display all layers in the application and can start selecting property parcels to view information provided by PAMO for each property. Simply click the parcel of interest and a pop-up will display that property's data. It is very important to mention that while in the PAMO application, the parcel slash pop-up property info layer needs to be on and visible if you want to view pop-ups for the parcels. Each pop-up provides three links. First, let's zoom into the selected parcel using the Zoom To link in the pop-up. The link to view more parcel details will open a full details panel in the side panel. The real estate number in both the details panel and the pop-up is linked to the property appraiser's website, providing all information available on that specific parcel. Similarly, the flood zone info is linked to the FEMA's flood zone website for supplemental information, and the city council member's name is linked to their respective council district's website. Close the pop-up with the X in the upper right-hand corner. If you have any questions as to what each layer is representing, the Help button in the About tab has a link to view layers information. Here you can find a detailed explanation of each layer in the PAMO application.